Okay, so let's set up a new Minecraft server for the Caves and Cliffs update. So I'm going to be following the guide on play.gg. Uh, so we land on play.gg and we can click the guide for Minecraft Java. So no, we do not have a server set up. We can click here to go to the official Minecraft server download page. And if we click this, it will start downloading our server for us. And we will say keep back on the guide, it will ask us to create a new folder called minecraft-server. So I like to put this in my C drive. So I'll go ahead and say new folder, minecraft server. Now we just need to drag that download into our folder. Done. Uh, we are on Windows. So next it wants us to create a new file called run.bat. So I'll go ahead and right click new text document, run.bat, and I'll answer yes. If you did not get that prompt, you can go here in your file explorer and press view, and then make sure that file name extensions is checked. And then you can go ahead and rename your file, whoops, by pressing rename right here, and it should be run.bat, not run.bat.txt, rtxt. So with that file created, we'll go and say edit, and we'll copy this, save, close. Uh, next, it wants us to double click run that bat. Uh, now, for me, it's just flashing and closing real quick. Uh, that's because the new version of Minecraft has requires a new version of Java. So let's go ahead and set that up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old version. So I can go ahead and press, uh, or search add and remove. You should have this, you can go ahead and search Java. And we want to uninstall. Okay, Java is gone. Cool, so with that gone, we can go ahead and download the latest version of Java from the uh, official java.net website. So we can see here, uh, we have Windows, we're gonna download the zip. And while that downloads, I want to navigate to my program files, create a new folder, Call that Java. And then I want to extract the JDK file or JDK folder into that new Java folder. Great. So the next thing we need to do is let's go ahead and open up that JDK folder bin and we want to copy this path. Now, what you can do here is we're gonna search my computer. We should say this PC. If we uh, side click on that, we can press properties, advanced system settings, environment variables, click path, click edit. What we wanna do is we want to add a new entry with this path. I already have uh, it added, so we, can, uh, we only need it once. Press OK, OK, OK. So what we can do to make sure that Java is properly installed is go to the command line and just type Java. And if you get um, a bunch of stuff over like this, you've done it successfully. If you get something like, like this with instead of foo Java, it's not recognized, then uh, go back into this video and try it again. Great, so now that Java has been installed, we can go back to our C drive and Minecraft server. And let's try double clicking run.bat. Okay, so we saw the command line open a bit and then close and we have some new files. Cool, so a eula.txt file was created for us. Yes. So we wanna edit this file and we want to write true. Now I've already read the EULA, but um, it's basically the end user agreement that you're accepting 
when using Minecraft. Cool, we've accepted the EULA. Now we want to go ahead and start the server. And we want to allow access. So done. The next thing that's on the agenda is to download play.gg. So play.gg is a tunneling tool to make it make your server available to other people. So if you're just playing uh, just for yourself or other people on your same Wi-Fi or home network, then you don't need to play it. But if you have friends that are, you know, maybe if in a different house, a different country, uh, then we use play.gg for that. So I click that link, uh, we are in Windows, so I download the latest version. And then it wants us to run the play program. So we can do that by just clicking it. Give it a little moment here. Great, so let's navigate back to the tab we're on. It says program connected. So just here blindly click add. Uh, we didn't change anything, so the default will work. And we are given this address. So let's go ahead and copy that. Let's launch Minecraft. Lopsided tendency. Uh, the random domains are quite fun. And then a multiplayer, we can just go ahead and paste that in there. And just like that, we were able to connect to our server. And you can see here, we have Flight Stick join the game. And we also see in the play, play program, we have a uh, new connection. Great, so uh, that is how you can launch a new Minecraft server for the Caves and Cliffs update and use Play It to make it public. And I do feel bad about that chicken. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, we are quite active in the Discord. And yeah, hope uh, enjoy the new update. I know I will.